Project Natick uh, not only is an exercise in green tech, but it's also an exercise in whether we can get to a mass production concept. The leadership of offshore renewable energy is really in Europe. Scotland is also home to the European Marine Energy Center, which is the largest test site in the world for offshore renewable energies like tide and wave energy. Putting something in the ocean is something that we don't really have a whole lot of experience with. For this deployment, we're working with a company called Naval Group of France. Getting that group of engineers in the same room with our group of engineers, you know, there were ideas that came up that spurred an idea in someone else, and it really led us to get to the design that we're at now. The vessel was built as two pieces. There's an external shell, which is the pressure vessel itself, and then an internal payload. So this data center runs entirely off renewable energy. Our vessel is powered by a combination of solar power, wind power, and offshore tidal and wave energy. Yes. This is a true lights-out data center. People have been wanting to design such a data center for the last decades that I've been involved in the business, and this is the very first one that I've actually seen that we're going to do it. And we'll see what happens. So we had around 35 people on the sea, five boats, and at Abelia crew we had the team checking all the electricity to make sure that the connections were just perfect. Right, we are uplinked to S1. Alright, then I think we can move forward. Officially, Naval Group says on the infrastructure side it's okay to proceed with deployment. Microsoft agrees. The Natick data center by no means replaces those big data centers that we've come to know. Just being able to order precisely the amount of data center capacity you need and have it delivered to you, that is the product concept that we dream about with Project Natick.